do a quick video about our solar powered shed. Sorry about the wind, I gotta, had to redo this video because the other one somehow or another got deleted because it's windy today. Uh, this is the Suncast Shed from Home Depot. We actually bought it for our canning shed and I'll show you how we cool it with just the power of the sun. We have one 15 watt Harbor Freight solar panel, which needs to be clean, mounted to the top of the shed. Just runs in. I've got me a drip, uh, drip loop running around going into the side. So now I'll show you the inside of the shed. The shed comes with two vents. It has a vent on each end and on the back side I actually installed just a small computer fan out of an old computer because they're 12 volt. They run off of DC. And it has a vent over on the other side also. So it pulls the air through this and out that taking the heat out, keeping the shed a whole lot cooler in the uh, summertime so that we can keep our canned fruit out here and really not have to worry about it. The old timers, they always had canning sheds anyway, so you know, I thought, well, why not try it? So far, we've had really good luck and we've not lost anything due to heat extremes. Of course, I do have a uh, heat lamp I'm going to use when it gets down below the 20s probably this winter. I'll give it a try. I've got the uh, zero pot, not the zero pot, but the candle flower pot heater, and I'm going to try it, but I've got to get the wicks made for it. I've got some made, but they just don't last long enough. But the wire just runs around, and it's actually the wire that came with the light kit from the Harbor Freight solar panel. It runs along the top right there, and then it runs over to where it runs in right here, and then I use the switch for the wire on the Harbor Freight. All I do is just flip it on and as you hear, or should be able to hear maybe, it takes off running. Now you can actually use the small panel and it'll run these fans just fine. Mine did, but it, since it wasn't facing true south, my panel wasn't, there was times of the day that it didn't run it as powerful as it does with this panel. So I took the small panel off and then put the larger 15 watt power panel on and I'm assuming that you can hear that. It's just buzzing away. So it pulls all the heat out from up top and it keeps it cooler down here below. Then when I get ready to turn it off, I can just flip it off. The good part about using the solar panel is when the sun comes up, as long as you've got it turned on, kicks itself automatically on. When the sun goes down, kicks itself automatically off. That might give you some ideas about how to maybe cool your shed. One other thing that we did do since this is the north facing wall we bought these sheets of styrofoam. It's like a styrofoam insulation and we put it on this whole wall down through here to help with uh, the cooling during the winter time. Since we get that north wind coming in from that way, I thought, well, I'll block the wind and then maybe when I get my flower pot heater going, that it will be able to warm the building for free. And, you know, it's just something to play with. But anyway, hope this helps and I hope it gives you some idea about how you could possibly do you a shed and maybe run it off solar. Thanks for watching.